Everyone is talking about disturbing, never before seen surveillance video of the police response to the Uvalde mass school shooting. Our legal analyst, Greg Isaacs, is here to talk about this. Good to see you. Lori, it's good to be here. Here's the question how it was first revealed to the public, this video, via the media ahead of state lawmakers' planned release. Greg, why don't authorities want video to be released? Well, Lori, much like Tennessee, Texas has a strong public records act. Uh, the 77 minute video release has reignited a furor over how uh, the Uvalde uh, massacre was handled by law enforcement. But one thing it's important to remember, uh, when you talk about a public record, you're talking about transparency and accountability. Uh, the video isn't on the side of law enforcement. It's not on the side of, of the defense. It's not on the side of the victims. Uh, it's on the side of accountability. So, you know, when you're looking at a public record, they can be graphic, uh, they can be horrific, or, or they could be helpful. Uh, they, and this they could, was edited, yeah, and a they, very sensitive video. Yeah, and they, they could pre present, uh, prevent an injustice. Yeah. But, you know, it was interesting. The 77 minute video mm -hmm. gives different insights and perspectives because, uh, like here in Knox County, you have officer body cams mm -hmm. that are really taking you uh, in the hallways at Uvalde. But interesting, the Mary Uvalde said, not fair to the victims, too graphic. Uh, the head of the Texas Department of Safety said the timing should have been different. Uh, but I disagree. Uh, the video is the video, and if it's a public record, uh, the victims have a right, the public has a right, uh, and the media has a right. Well, and one of the Texas stations, TV stations, said, we talked to the families, and all but one agreed that it should be out there. So they wanted everybody to know they did their due diligence in, in adhering to the sensitivity of this, but yet knowing because transparency is such a huge deal, especially today. You mentioned Knox County. Uh, big case in Knoxville, the Austin East student shot and killed by police in the school bathroom. Remember, you were here with us that day when DA Sharm Allen held the news conference and walked us through practically every frame of that video. So she jumped in and got control of that video. Right. And here's what's interesting. Uh, Tennessee, again, has a very strong Public Records Act, mm -hmm. uh, although uh, for its strength, it has 350 exceptions. Uh, general uh, rule, if it's received, created, or paid by government, it's a public record mm -hmm. uh, that you're entitled to. Uh, in that case, uh, police videos are public records at some point. So what we see often is uh, the prosecution, uh, law enforcement will say mm -hmm. a criminal investigation is pending, it will be released later. So uh, that was interesting because the police chief uh, for the officers that were there wanted the video released. Mayor Jacobs wanted the video released. Uh, DA Sharm Allen went and got a judge to sign an order uh, clarifying any ambiguity, whether it was a public record. So, you know, it, it's very interesting. Videos are powerful. Videos mm -hmm. are an eyewitness uh, that accurately records something. They don't lie. Uh, they don't lie. But they're only a public record after the investigation is concluded. Um, but that was a good example of how videos can sometimes be misconstrued. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, a public record should be treated as a public record, not whether it's misleading, good, bad, horrific, uh, and be released. And that's the heart of public records acts in Texas, Tennessee, yes. accountability and transparency. Absolutely so important. Greg, thank you. Thank you. If you have a legal question for Greg, you can reach out to him by emailing askisaacs at wate.com. And remember, we talk with Greg every Wednesday at 530 right here on WATE 6 on your side.